Hey everybody, it's me, Brother Wild Bill, coming to you from inside the most dangerous prison in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I'm in the La Jolla facility in Panama. I was an ex-cartel hitman. I'm serving 46 years for quintuple homicide, and I'm giving out advice today. Yesterday we talked about uh, advice for the ladies. Today I'm giving advice for the fellas. Uh, I want you guys to listen. Uh, this is dating advice or advice of how you can behave with your current woman to make her want to fuck you and want to stay around and not run away. <laughs> Those are two very good things, very important things, that, that she'd want to blow you. That's the first thing, that she has a desire to blow you. And the second thing is that, that she doesn't want to get that absolute shit away from you. Um, so how, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you entice a new woman or how do you uh, hang on to a woman you already have? The first thing that you need to do is work on yourself. You can't, you got to be a quality man. In order to have a quality woman and maintain a quality woman's uh, attention, you need to work on yourself. I'm not telling you you got to be the best at everything, but you need to be working on yourself. You need to be in doing some sort of physical exercise. I don't know what. Playing golf and drinking a 12-pack of beer is not a physical exercise. You need to be doing some sort of physical exercise 30 minutes a day, four times a week. That's the first thing. Second thing, you need to be working on your career. And as I said to the girls, selling, selling stolen shit at the flea market, selling dope out of the back of your car, or selling hot dogs at the gas station are not careers. You need to be investing in something, in, 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 a, in, a, in a real job, or and when I say a real job, you know what I mean, a real job with a future, or in your own business, or in some sort of education. You need to be investing in yourself. Those are the first things. If you take, if you take yourself seriously, she's going to take you seriously. But if you're sitting around playing, you know, uh, playing Call of Duty on the on the PlayStation, you know, 23 hours a day, and, you know, and 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 if you if you're, uh, you know, you you don't have a good career, you don't have a good job, you can pretty much assure that she's not going to want to put your phallus in her mouth. And so, that's the first one. The second one. Uh, that we want to talk about today is what kind of relationships do you have stable relationships in your life? You should have stable friends who want the same thing you want. If you all your friends are a bunch of fuck ups, I got news for you, buddy. You're you're fuck up number five. You know, if all your friends are garbage and 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 I'm not one to judge anybody else, but I'm just telling it like it is. Uh, then, then you're probably garbage too. If all your friends are immature assholes, you're an immature asshole too. If all your friends are men who are looking to better themselves, men who are looking to ex excel in the life, and men who, who treat their families with respect, then you're probably somebody like that too. So make sure that the people that you hang around want the same thing that you want. Make sure of that. That's, a, that's the second thing. Um, a third thing that you can do in order to be more attractive to women is to be more masculine. Learn how to change a tire on an automobile. Learn how to kickbox. Learn how to box a little bit. Learn how to lift weights in the gym. Learn how to do manly things. Learn how to go hunting. I'm not a hunter and I don't actually even support that really, but I'm just saying that's a manly thing to do. And so I don't not support hunting. I don't want to offend anybody either. You know, I'm just not a hunter. I, I went a few times as growing up, it wasn't my thing. I like fishing, though. And, like, I'm a deep-sea fisherman. That's a, that's a manly thing to do. And the more manly the things you can do, the more attractive you're going to be to women. Women tell you, listen, this is news. It's news to everybody except women. Women tell you shit they want you to do and want you to be that's a lie. That's not what they want. They say, we want you to be sensitive. They don't want that. They say that shit, but it's not true. The sensitive men are the one who, who she calls at 3 o'clock in the morning to move the refrigerator, and then she calls the manly man to come and give her cock. Just being straight with you guys. So, so I don't want to be in that friend zone. I'm not sensitive. I'm an asshole. I'm masculine. Uh, you know, and my, my, family, my family relationships are very, very good, and I'm working towards a career. So uh, lots of chicks want to ride on my stone pony. And if you want chicks to want to, want to ride on your stone pony, then be like Brother Wild Bill and be a fucking real man. Be a masculine man. Be a John Wayne. Don't be a Justin Timberlake. Hey, this is actually, this is advice for the guys. Love you guys. Um, like, subscribe, and comment below, and tell us what you think about it. Remember, we pull the links down there. Uh, I got a book I wrote called "Long Live the King, Wild Bill." Drag your asses over to Amazon and buy that damn thing because every time you buy one, I make five bucks, and that five bucks is what I use to live here in this third world hell. I love you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey, if you're a hater. Be, feel absolutely free to drag your tongue down the crack of my ass.